right, everybody, welcome back to Mr. and Mrs. Ace of Traits. If you haven't had the opportunity to watch part one of the windmill restoration, make sure and go and do that because this is part two. And thank you so much again for subscribing to our channel and enabling those notifications. If you haven't done that yet, make sure and hit that subscribe button. Yeah, and like I said a second ago, this is part two. So if you don't remember, the windmill has had fallen down and had fallen onto bad times and it was neglected and fallen apart. And what we were doing was starting that restoration process. So in this part two, you're actually gonna see us complete it and deliver it to grandma. Now I'm really excited and I hope you guys enjoy it. Come on. I'm, I'm never sure <laughs> if I'm not doing it. Go down the stairs. Come with us. Don't be shy. <laughs> I'm not shy. I'm not shy. <laughs> hey, there you go. Wait, 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 wait. We're not going to give it to Grandma just yet. We have to go through the, the rest of the restoration process. So let's, let's dive in where we left off. Once we had the majority of the windmill down to the bare metal, it was time to paint. And of course, we grabbed our Rust-Oleum that we purchased from Home Depot. Rust-Oleum, I love it. I've used it on other projects in the past. And again, it holds up really well in the elements. So we grabbed Rust-Oleum and did a flat gray primer on all surfaces. And we made sure to give it a couple of coats, checking every little angle. Because we're working with, you know, three-dimensional objects, so you want to make sure and get every side. Once we had every side coated with our flat gray primer, it was time to use our John Deere Green and John Deere Yellow, which we also got from Home Depot. With the exception of the color of the windmill, we weren't really sure any other details. So I took it upon myself to mask off certain areas to give the windmill some character and some, what I like to think of as unique design. I've used masking tape before and on this project, I'll admit I was a little bit rushed or I felt like I was rushing myself. And when I laid out the paint, it showed. There were some areas that where the paint had kind of bled through, so I didn't get as many clean edges as I would have liked. But to be honest, it's not something that you're gonna notice from afar, so I wasn't overly concerned with it. It is a good point to note for anyone masking off projects to make sure that you have good clean connections on your edges to prevent that bleed through or that bleed over. And it is also a meticulous process. So you want to take your time and make sure and do it right. But once I had everything masked off, then it was time for some more paint. And just like the primer, I gave it about three or four coats of paint. Once the paint had dried, it was time to remove all of the masking. And there's nothing I like more than removing the masking tape to reveal the pattern or the design that's been laid out. It's a lot of fun and it's very gratifying. And once we had all of the masking removed, it was almost time to do the delivery. 
and set up. Before I did that though, I actually gave several coats of clear, clear coat to the windmill just to help protect it a little more since it's going to be, you know, outdoors and in the elements. Now what you'll see coming up is me setting up the base. The base is a, another separate project uh, and a video that we created to go along with it. I would highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel and take a look at that because it's really cool uh, design as far as what we did. We used some old styrofoam for the inside uh, of that base. So it's not all concrete. What it does is it actually cuts down on weight and waste um, but this way it'll anchor that windmill to the ground and prevent it from falling over in the future and once we got that done and we got the windmill mounted to it it was time to surprise grandma oh my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness you guys that's great that's great and it's great because he did, yeah. That's the perfect color too. Yeah. It, it is. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. I, it is beautiful. I've forgotten all about it. And you guys, oh, you took it and you refurbished it. <laughs> That's great. That is just great. Actually, I'd, forgotten. I'd almost forgotten about it.